today Jay and I have come to the splatter room at the Rage Ground and we're gonna throw around some paint, have some fun and splatter a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, so we always know that art's been expressive when it comes to color and image and canvases, but they have this experience that's designed to just let all your creative talents let loose. loose. And neither of us are painters or artists I mean, I of any kind. And so I am really intrigued to see what we I'm so excited. With. All right, let's, let's do it. it. Yeah. Ready. Awesome. Yeah. Come on in. This is our paint room. A three, a two, a one. Oh, I can see <laughs> it. sounds gross in my ear. I love that. Oh, that's it. That's it. Let's see which colors were actually glow in the dark. Oh, oh, the morning jay is in glow in the oh, dark. Yeah, okay. Where, 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 where would we put this up in our house? In your office. In our office. No, in your office. In my office. Yeah, I, I, I feel like you deserve it in your office. Okay. Wow. It looks actually. I'm actually, actually really incredible. impressed. I'm, I'm so impressed. With I'm that. actually really impressed. So am I. Okay, cool. All right. What's next? Tell me. Oh wait, look, it printed what I wrote on your back on the wall. What do you think it said? Absolutely no idea. What do you think it said? I'm so cute. No. Then. Guess. Tell me! I love Jay. Oh gosh. <laughs> You're walking. Rub it all off! <laughs> Rub it off! Last time we were here, I remember we were writing the words down and we found that when we broke that, it created something for yes. us. Yes. So this time with art and with paint, I thought we could actually focus on manifesting Ooh, and I creating. Like okay, cool. So we're going to choose a word each and we're going to paint what that word means to us with that word mm. on the canvas. Okay. Because I think, again, like words have so much meaning, they have so much depth, they give us something to reflect on. And I really think everyone who's watching or listening at home, if you're not going to do this with paint, even just writing down yeah. what you want to focus on can have such a big impact. So I love it. Do Let's do it. I love right, that idea. Kendra Cherry, a psychotherapy article from Very Well Mind says, Art therapy is a technique rooted in the idea that creative expression can foster healing and mental well-being. Since then, art has become an important part of the therapeutic field and is used in some assessment and treatment techniques. What are you, why are you painting on mine? I was trying to write J there. <laughs> no, don't! Oh, I love yours. Yours is actually so, you're so good at these art projects. Yours I mean, actually turned out amazing. Really? All right, I love this. Put, yours, put the thing off so we can see if any of ours was glow in the dark. Oh, so my joy wasn't, but my, the other bit as well. None of mine was. But you need the light on to find the joy. That's the message of mine. Oh, I like that. I love that. There we go. Bravo, bravo. Amazing, I really enjoyed this. I that was actually say. really fun, I yeah. feel like we should do art more often. I know, I agree. Like, it was actually really fun. Yours looks amazing, though. Okay, so I chose the word joy because I feel like that's what I always want to give out to people. Like even if, at any time, I feel like I get so much love from people and I'm in a really blessed position to have family that love me and a husband that loves me and I get so much given to me that I feel my duty in life is to share that with other people and hopefully bring joy to other people's lives. So that is something that I want to do day in, day out, without fail. And so I truly believe that if you want to, there's always something to be grateful for and always something to find joy in. You just have to be looking for it. And um, that's what mine represents, that even amongst all the crap and the chaos, you can find joy. So Radhi just gave a whole speech about how she painted the word joy. It was actually the word J, but you know, <laughs> she, just, she just missed the little. Anyway, uh, I chose the word truth because in my life, I'm always trying to share timeless truths, so timeless mm. wisdom, truths that I've learned, truths that you've picked up along the way. And I think the truth is just such a interesting concept now because there's so much information, there's so many opinions, there's so much stuff out there in the world. And so it becomes harder and harder to know what the truth is. But I think the seeking of the truth and the pursuit of the truth mm. is something I find fascinating. So to me, I didn't quite achieve it fully, but the idea was that the truth is buried under a lot of things and you need to kind of like look very carefully to find the right parts of the truth. So 
That's why I chose the word truth. Bravo! Bravo. Thank you for that. Thank you for that never ending. <laughs> <laughs> so now we are going to, uh, we brought along a few pieces of clothing that we thought we would decorate and um, take away as a memorabilia. So I brought um, a tracksuit which basically I stained, tried to remove the stain, didn't work. So I really liked this tracksuit so I thought I'll try and make it wearable again. And, and you brought... I bought my Misfits sweatshirt that I love and I thought it would look dope if it had some more white and splatter on it. Let's so do it. Very excited for this. Less than an hour of creative activity can reduce your stress and have a positive effect on your mental health regardless of artistic experience or talent. I find that when you're trying to be creative in a contained environment, you wouldn't do silly stuff. So yeah. it's like when you're trying to paint something perfect, you're like being really careful about every line and everything and then it doesn't work out. Whereas when you get to just explore, you may actually discover something new. And so I find like I would never ever do this. And the idea of just letting paint free and not caring what it looks like means you discover a new technique or you discover a new method or you discover a new way. So even though I didn't like what I did on the front, I really think what I did on the back was cool. And uh, even if you don't think it's cool, it's the idea that I got to be in a room where there was just self-expression and exploration. So I feel like so many times we say something because we want a particular feedback or we try and act in a certain way so that people respond in a certain way. Oh, no. In this room, it's just you and your creativity. Gun. <laughs> 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 wow, everything feels so much, so much cooler in the This is so fun. This is actually this fun. Is so fun. I would definitely do this again. Okay. No, okay. That was definitely, I feel more fun than the break room. Oh, for sure. Um, I just love being creative, and it's also fun to see like what you what you said was so important. Because I think if I was thinking about making something or making this too specifically wear. I would have been so much more mindful about how I was doing things. But doing it like this allows you to just be free. And actually, wearing something, knowing the feeling that I had after, like, while I was creating it, I feel like that's going to be so fun. So, I think Radhi and I both agree we would a thousand percent do this again. For the sure. amount of freedom, creative expression, the so childlikeness. I really believe that we all need more play in our lives. Yeah. There's this really beautiful quote from George Bernard Shaw where he said that we don't stop playing because we get old, we get old because we stop playing. Yeah. And I feel like today I just got to play, I got to be a kid again, like literally I just felt like I, nothing mattered. Like it didn't matter what I do or what effect it has and what it impact it has, fun, just, just for fun. And like that is such a beautiful feeling to have and I don't think we get that, you know, whether it's in your job or it's in your day-to-day -day life, there's routine, there's rhythm, there's like organization yeah. and to just break free of all of that and not have that to think about while you're creating something. <laughs> and it's so much fun, you guys have to try this out. We are at the... Rage Ground. The Rage Ground, you just got paint on your hands. It's so much fun, you guys have to come and try it out. Do it with friends, do it just yourself if you just feel like you need to get a lot out and you just want to express yourself in some way, then I would really recommend it. Absolutely, 10 out of 10. Oh, and we want you to tell us in the comments what you want us to try yes, next. Yes, we, we want to try so many new things this year. We'll pick them at random. We we'll will. like write them all down and we'll pick them out of a hat. Of I love that. We should try. That'll be really fun. So please recommend some stuff. It's always so nice to hear what everyone else is trying out in their lives, so we can um, experiment with them too. Yeah. We'll see you soon. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Here are three signs you're struggling with a lack of purpose. Number one, you feel pressure to know what you want to do with your life. Number two, you've lost interest in your own life and feel disconnected. Number three, you don't know what your skills are or you feel you lack them. Hope is not lost. You can get through this. Having purpose and meaning in our lives helps guide us through the ups and downs and creates structure in our day-to-day -day life. That's why I've partnered with Calm, the leading app for mental health and wellness. The app has a library with thousands of meditations, songs to help you relax and focus, and sleep stories to help you get a good night's rest. And now you can find The Daily J, a daily series where I'm sharing proven tools and techniques to improve your mindset and mental health in a matter of minutes.